Uh, I like to to talk a little bit about the the how the infrastructure in our countries can accelerate or help the education system in our countries. Uh, I have some uh, a little experience working in West Africa when I was commissioner of Guinea-Bissau in or organization, economic union and the monetary, uh, based in Ouagadougou, Burkina Faso. So we have been working in the reform of education system in our zone. The population of our zone is about 1.4 million inhabitants. Uh, all of our member state, we share the same currency, Franc Sefia. So the statistics show that uh, the problem of education is a big problem. And if we not solve this, we cannot compete and we cannot develop. For example, I want to give you one example. Uh, what we found in our zone. A girl who finished primary school is three times likely to contract IV SIDA. So this is very important. And the most of children who repeat class, sometimes two years in the same class, is those who's living where there are no infrastructure in the rural areas. So it's very important if we see the number of people living in the rural area and how they can contribute to development of the country and to be competitive with the other zone of the world. So an effective education creates a population with both and skill and the means that needed to create economic progress. Uh, the role of government in those countries is to create the condition for everybody to go to school at the primary level. Even in the high level school also, the role of government is to do this. But today we are in the world of what we call in French mondialization. That everybody with a good infrastructure can accede to most sophisticated information in the world. But for this, it's very important to have the infrastructure in the place. For example, TIC. If we can access the internet, so we have the possibility to have the same information the children who is in rural area with somebody who is studying in Harvard, Massachusetts. So you have the same possibilities. This is very important. If you look today, Africa is about 1.1 billion inhabitants, but only 200 million 97 citizens have access to internet. This is, is very important. If we are talking as African Union and the African continent, how African with a lot of resources can compete with the other continents. So that means that we must invest in the infrastructure to give the possibilities to our children, all population, to accede at the most sophisticated information technology in the world. And the, if you look the rate of penetration of internet, Africa is the last with 
percent. If you compare with Europe, with 47 percent. So, what is the problem? You need electricity, you need the roads, you need very cheap connectivity. And the technology is there. And we need money to invest. If you look, for example, there are one cable for communication that comes from Europe to South Africa. <clears throat> How many countries in Africa, and it passes through South Africa, how many countries connect to this cable? Because it gives the possibility to communication to be cheaper and to be accessible for everybody. And also to be a very high, high uh, speed to connect. So I think that the international community must to understand African way, when we are asking for help to invest, even is the role of government, but we don't have enough resources, financial resources to invest in this area. And the, if we want to have the very good standard in education in our continent, we must invest in the infrastructure. Uh, for example, in West Africa, what we do in our community, the Omoa community, that we have the same policy for education for all West African country. For example, we have, there are one directive, community directive that we have only one day for exam of BAC, baccalaureate. Huh? In all member <coughs> states, one day we choose for exam. And we have harmonized the programs at the university. Mm -hmm. As I said yesterday, with the, we adopt the same system adopted in European Union for high, higher education at the universities. They reform what we call LMD for all universities in our member state applying this. This is very important. But sometimes it lacks the means, the infrastructure, to be more performant. We are developing the, uh, what we call the courses online with some universities in Australia, for example, huh? with internet to take some courses. That is very important. But we need more people to come to this kind of courses, even in rural areas. So uh, I prefer to leave, and uh, for the questions, it's better that we can exchange more. Huh? Because we, I have a lot of things to, to say, but uh, we don't have enough time. I, I prefer to, to give opportunity to my colleagues here also for give their point of view in this matter. Specifically, we are talking about establishing a sustainable educational system infrastructure and the professional development in Africa. Uh, I think in sub-Saharan countries, we need to invest in education. Education is a long-term investment and is very important for the long-term competitivity. Uh, today we have, uh, uh, with European Union agreement, cooperation agreement, that is very important. We call it development agreement, not only commercial, but is development because we want also to take in account the education factor that is very important. Thank you very much.